George in Cork out of Lakewood is run by the Catholic group Sisters of Mercy, an all-women's college since 1908, and that has since changed. Not only is it co-ed, there are now five men's sports teams, and that's putting the university on a platform it never had before. Here's Jason Kahn. Let's go, Juwan. Don't get hurt. Don't pull your son. It begins with Brian Reese. Straight up. There you go. Power Leading up. Division Power II Georgian court as its new men's basketball coach. Only three years after the school first became co-ed. I can't wait for the next year and, and the years to come. The inspiration for Keith Hughes to come here, build something from scratch, make history, despite being one of the few men on campus. The first couple weeks we were like, yeah, like, there's really like you no know, guys here. It's like us and like the soccer team. And that was like pretty much it. The school's president says the inclusion of men's sports has undoubtedly raised the university's profile, which means more people wanting to enroll, which means more money. We are poised for a growth spurt in the next few years. Dr. Joseph Marbach is Georgian Court's first male president, inaugurated last month. Freshman enrollment declined by nearly half from two years ago. But with the addition of men's sports, he hopes, in part, it raises the university's profile, a ratio of about three females to one male here. Mickey Hulver knows that's a tough sell in recruiting for his men's lacrosse program that's launching next month. This is a, a huge process. On the court, they can relate to that process. Five wins last year, two the year before that their second coach in three seasons. Hopefully we have a chance to win, win a few things over here, so that's definitely important to us. That's also a win for the future of the university. Jason Kahn, News 12, New Jersey. Well, while Georgian Court fully became co-ed in 2012, they did allow entrance for male students taking graduate and night courses for more than 30 years. There's only one women's college remaining in New Jersey, the College of St. Elizabeth in Morristown. However, they too will be going co-ed next fall.